In this video I want to show you how to set up another machine as a Resolume tracking backup. So for this I've set up a simple show on one machine with a few effects, a couple of clips and some MIDI mapping with a MIDI controller. First we need to copy the composition to the backup machine. RISM now has a very convenient way of packaging up your composition and media. Under Composition Media Manager, I'll save this show. And this shows this dialog. And this shows all the media associated with this current composition. I only have two clips here, so it's going to be a very quick backup for me. But for a large show, this could take several minutes. So I suggest you do not do this during a show. Click down here, Collect Media, and then select a folder to save this in. So I've got a USB drive set up for this. My Arena backup drive. I'll just save it straight to that for now. Click OK Go, and we'll see it's collecting those files. That went really quickly for me. So I can close that, and I'm done. I've now got the composition backed up with all my media on the USB. At this point, it's important to note that, that certain parts of your show will not be saved with the composition. So this includes any advanced Apple mapping, any custom effects you have installed, any custom DMX, MIDI, OSC, and keyboard shortcuts you've used, uh, if you've saved or changed the interface layout, any extra custom stuff that's on your computer will not transfer to the new computer. I have done some MIDI mapping and an advanced output map, so I'm going to save these first. So I go to Shortcuts, Edit MIDI, and this is my MIDI map. I'll just make sure I save this and I'll give it a name that I'll be able to find easily. So I'll just call it Backup. I'm going to exit out of MIDI map and for the same thing for my advanced output, I need to make sure that's saved as well. So I've just got three simple layers here being split up in a strange way, I'll save that as well. So make sure that's saved as, I'll just save that as backup as well. Just to make it easy to find. So it's important to have these available, they must be saved. Although you can run a resin without saving this as a specific name, to be able to transfer it across, you will need to be able to save it. You will need to save that. So any of that stuff I want to pull across, I'll need to copy separately. And these are generally saved on a Windows computer, under My Documents, and then under Resolume Arena. You'll find most of these, these files are saved here. You could copy the whole thing across, um, all the folders onto your screen and then pull out what you need. Or you can even just go and find the specific files in each of these folders. So you can go find your keyboard shortcuts, your advanced output mapping. I'm just going to copy all these files over to my USB now except for the ones I know I don't need. So I don't need any recorded content and I won't need my compositions because I've already transferred this composition across. So I'll just copy those folders and I'll paste those on the USB as well. My Arena Backup USB. So I'll just paste them straight on there. Alright, and that should be all the files I need to back up this computer. Now I'll just set this machine. This is my main machine. So I'll set this one up to send tracking data. So for this we're going to use OSC. So Resolume can send OS and receives OSC data and it's the, probably the best way to send tracking information between the two machines. So again Arena Preferences and under OSC what we need to enable is OSC output. Um, and we need to note, make note of the output port mapping. 7001 is generally the default from Resolume and I'm going to stick with that. I just need to make note of it for the new machine um, and I'm going to turn off OSC input. If you have other machines you could keep this on but make sure your port numbers are different so you don't get any looping. And I'm going to keep it as broadcast but you could give it a, the machine a specific IP address of your backup machine but broadcast is going to work fine for me for today. We also need to make sure that this main machine is actually sending all of the OSC signals because if you have changed any OSC output data, that will override this. So under shortcuts, edit OSC, changes from default to output all OSC messages. And now we'll see that everything is actually sending the default data and it's going to send all 
of these control changes. If you change this, you may only be sending some data and the backup machine won't receive everything. So I said I can turn that off. Now my backup machine, I've moved over that USB. I can see this is my folder here. I'm just going to open up that show straight away. And you can see those clips have come in and most of my effects have come in but they're not showing any of the custom mapping. If I go to my advanced output, you can see it's still got an old show as well. However, this all this stuff is still showing up at normal. So first of all, we'll make sure we're receiving our OSC data for backup. So to set this machine up to receive OSC commands from the main machine to keep it in sync. So under preferences, OSC preferences, and we want OSC input. And I've already put this one in, but it needs to be 7001, which is the output of that other machine. I'll turn off, I have kept off turn off outgoing you could still have this on but it's really important to make sure that you don't have crossover port mappings because you'll create a feedback loop of sending the same messages back between the two machines and you'll get stuttering and all sorts of terrible artifacts so make sure you keep an eye on your ports and if you don't need them turn them off and so now if I close this window and show both machines back on the main machine you can see I'm changing clips here and it's tracking between straight to the backup machine and it even keeps the kit clip position in sync. What I don't have on the backup machine is I don't have any MIDI mappings. If I move that fader now you'll see it come up, fader 2. I'll start that clip and you can see it start on that machine as well. And on the backup even if I move that that play position you can see it still stays in track as the the clip position is actually in OSC data as well so it's tracking the clip positions so I'll stop those for now and I want to copy over my mapping data so just on the backup machine I want to import my advanced output so I want to load a new one so load I can go straight to my USB and on the presets, advanced output, I called this one just backup. And there we go. That's now in there. However, all of my data is going to transfer as easily. So some of it I'm going to have to copy across into those folders on this machine. So I'm going to go to shortcuts on the USB. I'm going to find that backup. I'll copy that. I'm going to go into the same folder on this computer now. So shortcuts, MIDI. I'll paste that in here. Now the shortcuts MIDI it won't be available until I reboot Resolume. So I'm going to restart this. I'm also going to save this one locally, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to export with the media manager, but locally to this machine now, just to make sure all those clips now copy properly from the USB to this machine. So I'll save this show again, but I'll collect this media now to a local folder. And go. So now open the local version of that file. And we can see I've still got that OSC tracking backup going. I've taken the USB out, so this is just the local version now on my backup machine. And we're gonna see if I can get these MIDI shortcuts working now. So we go back into shortcuts, edit MIDI, and I'll have the option now to find that backup. And now if I plug my USB MIDI controller straight into that machine. Make sure I've got the MIDI turned on. 
and that controls working as it should now in this backup machine. If my main machine does go down, I can quickly switch over that USB MIDI device and have it work just as expected. And up until then, both machines will be tracked in sync with all these conditions sent across to each other. So as I mentioned, there are some limitations to this. As a tracking backup, OSC only sends control messages as they are triggered and does not know the context of the two machines. It just sends control change messages. So if I switch decks on my backup machine to an empty deck, triggering clips on my main machine does not know that my deck has swapped. Also, if I've reduced faders on the backup, it won't know that until I change it again. So if I move a fader on my main machine, it'll pick up the changes, but it won't know it until it's actually sent that command. So you need to make sure mo mo both machines start at the same point and run the show from there to keep all the, tra all the changes in sync. Also, adding new clips to your new machine won't be in sync. So those clips won't there be there. If you've changed the order of clips, also, that won't be picked up, um, so you do need to stick with the same show. So if you've got lots of changes in your show, if you've edited parameters like uh, clip playback length and stuff like that, those all those sorts of changes will not carry between the machines. Only interface control changes and those sorts of things as a control message will change. Our clip naming does manage to show up. And entering text, anything that has an OSC field or command will change. Uh, custom envelopes will not change between machines. Uh, and restacking effects won't change between machines. So it won't know if you've changed your stacking order. And there you go. There's a tracking backup between two machines over OSC.